Welcome back. The Los Angeles Times has had some great columnists. Remember Jack Smith, the famed sports writer, Jim Murray, and there's, of course, the current Steve Lopez. But this next Saturday, the Times says goodbye to one of the best. Syndicated columnist and best-selling author Chris Erskine has taken the buyout. Chris, nice to see you. So when did you first arrive at the Times? 1990. I joined the national desk at the Times when, in, when Shelby Coffey was the editor and things were fat and sassy and the paper was sassy and fat and wonderful and and i was i felt like i'd won the super bowl just getting in the door how did you end up at the column how does that work well i was doing a lot of editing work conan and i was missing writing i'd sort of started out as a sports writer in the early days down in florida i was a sports writer sort of drifted away from that and was doing some editing work which was fun and interesting but i really missed writing so they had a feature at the time called Laugh Lines, so I contributed to that, and that sort of took off. And, and finally, uh, an editor by the name of Michelle Williams came to me one day and said, um, you think you could do this every week? I said, probably not, um, but let's give, it a tr let's give it a shot. We'll find out soon. We'll find out by next week whether I can do it or not. So here we are, uh, you know, almost 25 years later. You've tried to help us navigate the COVID-19 lockdown. How have you fared? Well, how do I ever fare, Conan? I mean, I, every day has been a struggle for me from the time I could walk. Uh, you know, I w and that was like age nine, okay? Nothing ever came easily to me. And so, so yeah, and of course, we had a terrible 20, 2018 where, you know, uh, uh, the loss of my son and the loss of my wife, we had the worst time. So when this came along, I had a lot more perspective than than some people. And I also knew that that given time, things get better. Um, so that was a message I tried to get out. I always sort of look at the, the glass of gin as half full. I think that this has been actually good for a lot of families. You know, we were so, everybody was so programmed. Everything was moving so fast and you were always looking at your watch or your phone. You never had a chance to just sit down and exhale. This has been really, this has been really great. I mean, hair aside, I mean, we were thinking of driving to Georgia to get a haircut. When, when, when you have to drive, you drive all the way to Georgia to get a haircut, you know life is, is upside down. But, but I think that, you know, the board games, the cooking together, you know, for the first time, Conan, we didn't have to rush through dinner. We'd, you know, 5.30, we'd start chopping the carrots, and by 8 o'clock, we were done. But my son and I were able to do it together, and we weren't, we weren't rushing. We didn't have to get to baseball. We didn't have to get to, to some, some event. And uh, we, were, we were, you know – like with cell block D, we were kind of on lockdown, but I think there were some really good things to that. And I think it, it gave families uh, something they'll never forget, some good and some bad, but, but memories. We will miss you in the Times, but you'll still be writing. Oh, absolutely. I'm not retiring. I'm just leaving the Times. So I will be on Facebook. You can search for me on Facebook. I'm writing daily there and uh, hope to do some books and maybe a TV show. And, uh, you know, fingers crossed that... Uh, you know, I was lucky to get hired at the Times, let alone last 30 years. So, um, but I'll find something and uh, I'll still be around. I love LA. I, I plan to sort of, uh, you know, make my retirement here and, um, you know, good things are ahead. Chris Erskine, the last column is May 30th. Thank you again and good luck. Thank you, Conan. Take care. That's our program for today. You can see these segments later this afternoon when they're posted on our website, NBCLA.com, which also has a memorial page to those who have lost their lives during this COVID pandemic, we invite you to take a moment and explore the faces of coronavirus, where you can have a loved one memorialized on that page if you'd like. I'm Conan Nolan. Thanks for joining us. Have a great Memorial Day.